students, welcome back. It's Mr. Murphy. I am now teaching eighth grade. It's been a long time since I taught eighth grade. So we're going to kind of learn some of this stuff together. We're going to start with module one. It's going to be 20 days and two tests. We're going to start with the law of exponents. Some people have more laws. Some people have less laws. We're going to look at them and they're very logical. We're going to figure them out. Then uh, scientific notation takes that law of exponents and teaches us how to use that power to describe really, really small things or really, really big things. We're going to move on from that in module two, 25 days, two tests, and we're going to define the rules of motion. So we're taking shapes on a coordinate plane on the graph paper and how to move them around. And in topic B, we're going to say, how do I move this shape exactly on top of that shape? <clears throat> Module C is congruent. So if I move a shape exactly on a shape, that means they're exactly the same size. That's called congruent. So we're going to figure out how to figure out if things are congruent or not. Then we're going to introduce you to Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras was a Greek mathematician from 2,000 years ago. And his theorem is very important, especially in eighth grade. Module three is 25 days and two tests. We're going to start talking about dilation. So two figures that are dilated have a scale factor. They're either bigger or smaller, but they're exactly the same shape. This is called a similar figure. So that's topic B. So how do we determine if uh, shapes are similar? Topic A, we're, we're going to use the dilation to make them bigger or smaller. Topic B, we're going to figure out if they're similar. And then topic C is the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to look at it a little more formally. And you can see down here that's uh, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So we're going to figure out what that exactly means. Module four is 40 days, two tests. It's really long. Uh, we're going to write and solve linear equations and look at the word linear. The word line is in there. That means it's a straight line. So like our ratio equations, this is a linear equation. It's a straight line, but it doesn't have to start at zero. We're going to talk about how to solve for the variable in there. Then we're going to take two equations and put them on top of each other. And there are different lines and they will cross somewhere. We're gonna figure out where to find that by graphing. Then each of these lines, because it goes up or down, that's called the slope. We're gonna figure out exactly how to find that slope. And that tells us how steep a line is. Then we're gonna go back to the systems of equations. That's two or more equations. And we're gonna find where they cross, but we don't have to use a graph. We're gonna do it algebraically. Then we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about functions. What is a function? And how do we determine if something is a function or not a function? It is related to lines and equations, but we'll figure that out later. Then we're going to talk about how to find volume of shapes where they don't have the straight lines. You know, a square or a rectangular shape is easy to find because it's nice straight lines. But a cone is hard to find because it has those angled lines. We're going to figure out how to find volume of cones and spheres. Uh, then we're going to talk about linear functions, so straight line functions. How does that relate to the equations? We're going to talk about bivariate data. So if I'm comparing temperature to sales, like temperature to sales, then um, <clears throat> we're going to talk about how that data is related. Um, next, we're going to move to module six, lessons D, C, and D. So, not that data sometimes is a straight line, but sometimes is a curved line. So, we're going to look at that. When is it straight? When is it not straight? Or linear and nonlinear? And then we're going to decide um, how to show bivariate data. That's by meaning two category categories. And then module seven, 35 days, two tests. We're gonna talk about square roots and perfect squares and cubes. Then we're gonna expand these things into decimals and um, terminating and non-terminating decimals. Then we're gonna look at the applications for Pythagoras and then applications for radical roots, Pythagoras in the real world. <clears throat>